Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So, today we're going to be turning series on the Steam Deck. More importantly, how to get emulators set up, what games you should be playing, and how to enjoy them best on this device. And today we're taking a look at Atari Jaguar and Atari Jaguar CD emulation via Big P MU from Rich White House. This is an absolutely spectacular emulator that makes it an even better Atari Jaguar than real hardware, but it is a little bit of a different setup process, and it's basically a piece of software that you're going to be in to launch the games, so it's going to be a little bit different than our normal setup guide. But honestly, even if the Atari Jaguar was not as successful as Atari wanted it to be, there are a decent amount of games on here that are a lot of fun to play and check out, and it's going to be a lot of fun to get it set up on our Steam Deck. Now you want to go into the new Emu Deck, and you're going to go into Manage Your Emulators, and just go ahead and click on Big P Emu. See if it's already installed. You may need to do this manually. If you see an Install button, go ahead and hit Install. If you see this screen right here, you know the emulator's already there. Now on our Windows PC, we're just going to go ahead and make a folder on an external USB device and call it Jaguar. And that is where we're going to send our files over to. You'll see here that I have them all folderized. This is how I use them on Big PMU on my Windows machine. And this will bring them over fine to the Steam Deck as well. I don't deal so much in the library with this. I actually recommend that you launch Big PMU and launch the games from inside of there. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But you're going to see that the files end in a .jag format or a .rom. Both of these are going to work. You can also use zip files, but honestly, the unzip.jag seems to be the best for me personally. And you'll see here that I just have a little bit more of a file. If we take all of these folders and we just copy them over to that external USB device, it takes a couple seconds, but honestly, these files are very small. It shouldn't take long whatsoever. You can also download these on your Steam Deck in the desktop mode in a browser, but all my tutorials are predicated on using a dock. I'll leave a link in the description below to the one I use. It's not an affiliate link, it's not there to make money, I just trust it and I use it for all of the videos. And honestly, as much fun as Atari Jaguar is in handheld mode on Steam Deck, it's really fun to see it blown up on my living room 70 inch 4K. Now a note about Jaguar CD games, they are going to be in a different format, but you can still put them in a folder. You're going to see Highlander right here. I recommend using just bin queues for this. You're going to see all those bin files in one queue sheet. That's what the emulator is going to use the best. So if you want to do Atari Jaguar CD, an even more limited library than the Jaguar, use bin queue. You will have success with it. Now over on the Steam Deck in desktop mode, just go ahead and pop that USB device or whatever you used into the dock and you'll see a window pop up that says mount and open. Just go ahead and click that. And now you're going to see what we saw on Windows. You're going to have that Jaguar folder with all of the different nested folders inside of it. You don't have to have nested folders. You could just put all of the different ROMs in here. Although I don't recommend that on the Atari Jaguar CD side. It gets a little bit messy trying to actually find the file. You'll see why I keep this formatting once I get into Big PMU. I do think it's going to be a lot more streamlined and a lot cleaner for you. So I go ahead and copy everything over and then we're going to pop over to wherever you have ME Deck installed. For me, that's a micro SD card inside of the Steam Deck. For you, it might be the main hard drive. Whatever it is, that's where you want to go. So you'll see here we have the emulation folder for Emu Deck. And if we take a look in the BIOS folder, you don't need anything here whatsoever. The Atari Jaguar and Atari Jaguar CD do not require BIOS when you're using Big P Emu. If you're ever wondering whether or not you need a BIOS, if you go to the cheat sheet on the Emu Deck GitHub page, you're going to see that it lists every single manufacturer and you'll see Atari cheat sheet right here. Atari Jaguar, Atari Jaguar CD, it's going to give you all of the different file types you can use and it's going to tell you whether or not a BIOS is required. You're going to see here for both cartridge and CD, there's no BIOS whatsoever, so we are good on dealing with that. Now if we pop over into the ROMs, you're going to see there's an Atari Jaguar and an Atari Jaguar CD folder. There is no folder as of the making of this video for Big PMU. This does things a little bit differently, so honestly, you can kind of put them in either place. Sometimes it's going to try to launch a different Jaguar emulator in RetroArch, and if again you need to see those file extensions, you can just click System Info. I just put all the games, cartridge and CD, into the Atari Jaguar folder within their own nested folders. This works the best for me and I think it's going to work the best for you. It's not very good for ingesting on Steam ROM Manager, but I'm going to teach you a different way to launch these games that I think is going to be a lot better in the long run. 
what you'll see here we just go ahead into that Atari Jaguar folder and hit paste and we're gonna put all of the games cartridge and CD in here uh, this will make everything work in the long run it might take a minute or two but once it's done you can go ahead and close out of this and we're gonna pop back into Emudeck but I do like all of the different folders and you'll see here again bin queue for the CD games that's what I've had all of the success with other formats your success may vary and if we scroll down into the parsers menu when we're in the Steam ROM manager, by default Big P MU Proton should be highlighted. If it's not, make sure it's on. But I will say the way that Steam ROM Manager ingested these games, like seven out of 10 pieces of art was just not correct. You're gonna see here I get Alien vs. Predator, but it's pulling a completely different game. And this will probably get better in the future, but right now it really didn't matter too much for me. And you'll see if I click on Atari Jaguar, it was just misreading pretty much everything here. I'm not sure why on that. It just says bad code for, and honestly, no clue this is just what i experienced maybe when you get to it it'll be a little bit more streamlined but we're not here for a pretty time we're here for a good time and this is going to work even if it doesn't look the greatest so just go ahead and hit save to steam just in case you do want to try to launch from the library once we're done with that we'll pop over back to steam os you're going to see there's atari jaguar folders here but my recommendation is go into emulation and launch big pmu and this is going to be the best way to actually play all the atari jaguar games going into the emulation software and going from there. You'll see that you have some options. When you first come in, load software, it's going to launch into a random folder with some data. Just keep going up until you get to the drive letter where you have your game saved. The one time you leave this where it needs to be, it'll always remember exactly where it is. You'll see here I'm just scrolling around with the dots until I get to the right directory, which is going to be D in my instance. Go into emulation, go into ROMs, or we just put the games on desktop mode and go into Atari Jaguar. From now on, if you don't change this directory, every time you open Big PMU, it'll automatically default to the last place you were, and you will never have to go through that process again. Go ahead and select your game and you're going to be running Atari Jaguar, but there's a lot of other settings we want to talk about because we need to get back into the menu and by the default bindings, you can't do that immediately. So if you go into input and you pick input device one, you're going to see an option to change around the inputs there. If you go down to set bindings, you'll see all of the different buttons you can assign because don't forget the Atari Jaguar controller was a very complex beast. And big credit to Rich Whitehouse for making the overall OS for this piece of software so incredibly good. There's a pointer that shows you every single button you are binding and you can rebind anything you want. But what I want to do right now is go ahead and bind a button for the actual menu. You can see all of the different options here, but if you go down to the bottom and scroll up a little bit, you're going to have save states and load states that you can bind but menu by default is going to go to keyboard tab. So I'll just come into the Steam Deck controller settings and I, you can bind whatever button you want that's not already in use to that tab button. So I actually like putting it on L4. That works the best for me. So go ahead and hit add command on keyboard and select the tab key. This will allow you to go back in and out of the menu on Big PMU so you can adjust whatever you want setting wise on the fly and load up new games. You'll see here I'm in Rayman. I hit the L4 button. I'm back in the software menu. If I hit the button again or just hit back twice, I'm right back into the game. Simple as that. But by default, that's not bound in the emu deck settings. But something like Tempest 2000 here, the emulation is perfect. And honestly, all across Big P Emu, the emulation is stellar. Rich Whitehouse has absolutely nailed it with this. And honestly, there's no reason unless you're a huge collector, you should go out and buy an Atari Jaguar or an Atari Jaguar CD. You should be using this emulation software and every single thing I threw at it on my Steam Deck just 100% worked. You can see here in the video options you have different options for VSync enabled and disabled and so many other different toggleable settings. Honestly I leave pretty much everything the way it is and on the screen scaling I leave it on integer multiple that does leave a little bit of a letterbox on the top and the bottom but you can adjust this however you want. If you want it just to fit the whole screen without making it widescreen do fit to screen height. But you'll see here again we can just kind of navigate around and quickly change out whatever game we would like to this is instantaneously fast once you bind the menu button to tab you can pop in and out and again there's other different hotkeys this has save states so you can save and load your game wherever you want by default right now if you hold down the a button and hit back that should save a state and then you can load from there but just go ahead and rebind those honestly l5 and r5 i think are great for save and load states but whatever you want to do is what you get to do 
You'll see there I wrote a screenshot and I'll very quickly write a save as well and then we can just basically pop back in. If it says no save data could be loaded that means there's not a save state. If you create one and then go further into the game you can go exactly where you were before and you'll see that in just a moment. But again the graphics, the sound, the control on Steam Deck, everything is just so good by default. And speaking of the sound I'm going to give you about a 35 second sample of Rayman so you can hear the audio quality out and I'll come back and show you how to do with Atari Jaguar CD games because it is slightly different. But enjoy. Sounds great to my ear. Now on the Atari Jaguar CD front, we do have that folder for Highlander. And honestly, I don't play a lot of Jaguar CD games, but Highlander is a pretty hilarious one. All you're going to do is select the Q file. It's all that should show up if you have the games in a folder. And the minute you select that Q file, it is going to launch into the game. And save states will work on CD games as well. And that's absolutely a ton of fun. And it's great to be able to have Atari Jaguar CD via emulation on the Steam Deck or otherwise, because Atari Jaguar CD units are a exceedingly expensive and b incredibly fragile trying to actually find one that works and the games to run on it is not something other than a hardcore atari jaguar collector is going to want to do and honestly highlander is a pretty hilarious game but it is one that's definitely at least worth checking out and you know what they say there can be only one atari jaguar emulator for your steam deck and that's going to be big pmu and this is better than playing with a real atari jaguar hardware whether you're on the cartridge side or the cd side if you have any issues setting up, leave me a comment down below and I'll do the best I can to help out. But run, don't walk, and play Alien vs. Predator because I do love that game. See you next time. Bye-bye.